Hello and welcome to Process Improve in Japan, where each week we bring you updates on what's happening in Japan's manufacturing industry. I'm Angela Corriero. My name is Kozo Sakano. This week we want to introduce you to Nadeshiko, the female samurai. Sakano-san, what is a female samurai? Well, Nadeshiko means a modern version of a female samurai. They're strong, but very humble, and yet uh, very wise, and they're expert of 5S, maybe. <laughs> very neat, clean, and organized. Yes. Okay, every man's dream. Uh, we have two female samurai Nadeshiko stories for you this week. One is Japan's women's soccer team took home the gold in the World Cup. Yeah, they won the World Cup, the gold medal. And they encouraged the people in Japan very much, especially people in the disaster mm. uh, stricken area. Mm. How uplifting. Yes. But it also did some great things to the market. Yeah, the stock market went up uh, in Tokyo, especially the soccer-related uh, uh, sporting goods companies. Mm. Their stock stock uh, rate, the stock price went up. Nice, good fact. So Nadeshiko is good for the economy. Right. <laughs> now there is another Nadeshiko story. Murdoch's wife in London, I believe, had a bit of an event protecting her man. Yeah, during the hearing was going on with Mr. Murdoch, uh, some crazy guy was trying to attack with the shaving foam and then the, his, wife, his young wife mm. was uh, uh, fending off that uh, crazy guy. Nice, nice. Very, so that's an Adeshiko story. Uh, that I don't know, she looked very aggressive. Ah, Nadeshiko is not aggressive. Modest and strong but modest. And, I see. Yes. Okay, moving along. Kansai International Airport has reported its traffic in the last uh, little bit. Could you tell us some details? Well, actually yesterday school summer vacation just started mm. and then a lot of people go overseas during the this period. Mm. And then the the international Osaka International or Kansai International Airport near Osaka, right. Japan's second largest airport. Yeah, the the airport authority uh, disclosed that the predicted number of people using that airport will be about uh, less than one million. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you mentioned it's about a four percent drop from last year. Yeah, that's right. Is that connected to the disaster? Right. Mm. Japanese tourists traveling internationally have not declined and yet it's the foreign uh, visitors coming to Japan that declined 4%. Yeah, as far as the Japanese uh, international travelers are concerned, mm -hmm. they are back to the pre-disaster level. Mm -hmm. What are the, the main countries that Japanese travel to in the summer? The most popular place is Korea, mm -hmm. the second comes to China, mm -hmm. and then South Asian countries uh, follow after that. Is that for tourism or business? Uh, tourism, sightseeing trip. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, now, we have some uh, customer service standards, yes, related, ratings. Yeah, related to this, some mm. company uh, called uh, Recruit conducted a survey uh, in terms of uh, customer satisfaction, CS, what they call it. In the airlines. In the airlines. Mm. And then the first comes uh, Emirates Airlines. Mm -hmm. Their service was number one. The second was uh, Singapore Airlines. Uh, Singapore Airlines dropped down a bit. Yes, from first to the second. What was the third? Third was uh, ANA, A N A, all Nippon Airways. Actually, I like um, Singapore Airlines. They've always been my favorite. Yeah, oh, they're so nice. Yes. Yeah, so kind good. and the five S level is so great. I think so. Yeah. Not to discredit Emirates, I did fly with them once, and they were also fantastic. Mm. Okay. Uh, moving along to Mitsubishi Motors, there's two interesting stories going on. They're uh, having some great success. Yeah, Mitsubishi Motors announced uh, on the 20th they make up the loss caused by the dis disaster. Mm. So that they need more workers. Nice. Uh, they need to hire 800 seasonal workers. Mm -hmm. And besides that, they're going to uh, receive some help within the same group companies. Mm. More, uh, Mitsubishi is actually a very large conglomerate. So they're going to be pulling uh, staff from different uh, parts of Mitsubishi? Yeah, mm -hmm. and actually they have a great demand for uh, what they call 
electric vehicle mm -hmm. uh, called the uh, I E. The little one zipping around town all the time. Right. I don't like them. Well, uh, we need to be friendly to our environment. That's a new trend. And it is this, that little guy is, is very eco friendly. Yes. Nice. Okay. Uh, the next interesting movement for Mitsubishi is oh, the another Mitsubishi oh. Fuso company. Yes. They are the manufacturer of uh, buses and trucks, mm -hmm. big sized uh, vehicles. Uh, they're going to uh, resume the two shift operation on August 27th. Now that's pretty amazing. When was the last time they had a two shift operation? Oh, this was the first time in two and a half years. Amazing, amazing. And they're also going to be producing in Japan and exporting. Right. Uh, there is, again, there is a great demand for those vehicles in the new economy mm -hmm. area, mm -hmm. like uh, Indonesia. Mm. And uh, they produce assembled, you know, completed cars and trucks. And also they need to create uh, component parts for exportation. Now, given the rise in the uh, Japanese yen, it is quite significant and, and it, it says a lot for Japanese quality standards and production standards that they're producing in Japan and exporting and still able to make a profit. Yeah, still, as you know, the exchange rate is very high, mm -hmm. but still they need to export Excellent. because there is a need. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so last story, some new safety measures that are very exciting with automobiles. Yeah, safety comes number one. Mm -hmm. Number one priority is safety. And Toyota disclosed the new technologies for safer traffic environment. And that is, a car recognizes the possibility of collision. So it has to avoid those Possibilities. You mean that the car will actually automatically avoid a collision? That's right. How amazing. I heard about this years and years ago that there was a possibility that one day we would have this kind of robotic technology, isn't it? Yeah, pre-collision system they call PCS. How exciting. Very good. Um, I think that's it for this week. Thank you so much for joining us. For more information, please log on to our website and check out our Lean 5S section where Japanese companies have had amazing success in reducing defect rates and increasing productivity while decreasing cost with 5S implementation. For more news and information, check out www.processimprovementjapan.com. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week. Thank you. See you next week. Bye.